Okay, so the point of this video today is to show you how to use simple bubble wrap that you probably recycled from a pile, someone like this. The point of this is to bring the R value up in these windows. If, uh, if you're poor, like me, and you live in a rental place where you pay for the heat, chances are your landlord is not too interested in putting in energy efficient windows or giving you an energy efficient heater or whatever. If, if the landlord is paying for your utilities, situations change a little bit, whatever. So these windows are single pane. These windows, these windows could be 90 years old. Um, these, you know, it looks, there's some drafts that, that can be done up and, and this is more of an example rather than, than uh, something good. You should, if you've got windows which are basically in nice shape, which these are not, that are, that are draft, that are not drafty, this can bring your R value up. What a lot of people will do is put plastic over the entire window frame in hopes of, you know, cutting down drafts and such, and that may still be important. This, however, is just to bring up the um, R value from heat loss through the windows to the glass, which gets cold and loses your heat. This, um, as I showed you before, this is just a big sheet of bubble wrap that is essentially garbage. And these have been cut into squares to fit inside the window. You'll notice that they don't fit properly. Maybe you can't see the bottom. But these were cut for a different set of windows. I'm just using this window as an example. This is a plant sprayer bottle, which has water, a little bit of baby shampoo, and a, a very little bit of bleach to keep mold down. This process is very similar to putting tint on auto windows, where you can just use water and a little bit of soap. Um, I've heard of people using a little bit of glycerin. That's just what I've got. It happened to be baby shampoo, some water, and a little bleach to keep down mold. It's really pretty simple. You should clean this window first and then to spray it down. And you want the, the flat side towards the window. Bubbles come in. And we're up just like this one. I did some tests on one of these that I had done previously a while back and I found this to be about midway between the um, single pane not treated at all and a you know a, a, we'll call it a budget um, double pane window which uh, scientific maybe not I don't know but that's it was right in the middle and it certainly will bring up the R value of this class the light comes through obviously you can't see too much on the opposite side of it however this comes off really quickly and you can just reposition it. Nice thing about doing this versus putting plastic over the entire thing and there's a couple other windows in here which are entirely covered in plastic and I can maybe cut that in here. So this is an example of a frame that's been created around these windows. This is a wood frame that's supported in the corners and has a pretty thick piece of plastic um, underneath it. This entire frame just bolts to the frame of the window and as you can see it'll lock down some drafts pretty big. If these windows are <clears throat> um, drafty at all this piece of plastic will billow in and out and but it they, you know works pretty good for doing what you got with the inexpensive space and trying to make things happen. This obviously does not allow you to open and close the window so what happens in this particular space is that most of these windows have a huge frame over them and then there's a couple that don't for it so you can open up the windows once in a while if you need to ventilate for something or whatever. Is that you can open these windows up and close them. Um, you know, if you're smoking or you just want some ventilation or it's you know, one of the unseasonably warm days and you just want to open a window up. This allows you that capability while still um, 
while still cutting your losses. There's a, I'm going to include a link to an individual who's done a little bit more testing with this, if I can see if it's still on the internet. Um, he found that this performed far in excess of the double pane window, if I recall. And I think what he did is that he tested it as soon as he put it up. Whereas if you had waited a little while for the inside of these, the air inside of these to cool down, he probably would have found similarly that it's in, in between a double pane and and nothing at all. So, um, yeah, win. Very good. Thank you.